think the fans, I feel like this show is uh, the best show I've put on so far, or we've put on so far, in, uh, out of all the tours I've made. Yeah, I, I, I mean, for me, being in front of an audience is addicting. Um, I'm one of those, I'm one of those performers that when I'm on stage, I totally feed off the crowd. It, it, a lot of it has to do with the crowd. If, if the crowd is with me, then that just something ignites and, and I, go, I go nuts. It, it's, it's the driving force of the show. It's, for me, it's all about the crowd. I think Ireland, um, it's one of those, it's one of those crowds, obviously they're absolutely amazing in concert, but they also listen and uh, they listen. It's not so much about the screaming and, and how loud they are. It's more about um, the way they sing, the way, um, the way they enjoy the music. It, it's, it's, I just can't, I was here five, five years, around five years ago, actually five years, five months, and 18 days ago, and um, the crowd was amazing. Uh, and when I, would, I promised myself that the next time I came back here, I was gonna try to film it. It's um, just one of, it was one of those memorable concerts, and I felt like I wanted to capture that on, on screen. I, I love to tour. I, I wish I could, I could be touring all the time. Go from studio to touring. Obviously, you got to do the whole promo thing, which I completely understand. But what I truly love to do is to write songs and to be able to perform them in front of whether it's a hundred people, people or a hundred thousand people. Uh, that's what I truly love to do. I was lucky and fortunate enough to to grow up in an in an environment where I was so. Um, it was so diverse musically. Uh, I lived in Spain till I was eight years old, and I moved to Miami, uh, the U.S. And growing up in Miami, I had, I feel like I had a very big uh, European foundation musically. But then in Miami, you had so much of that Latin flavor and so much, obviously, the, 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 the top 40 Anglo music that I, that is probably what I listen to the most. Every country is, is different, but Latin America, uh, Mexico, Argentina, uh, Peru, uh, Brazil, um, they're absolutely amazing. The U.S., the Latin audience in the U.S., it's, that's where I learned. That's, um, Mexico was the first, um, the, one of the first countries I toured, and that's where I got addicted to the crowd. They were, they're really, really good. It's real gr they're, they're great. It's, it's amazing how technology has um, carried music to another level. Um, and I mean that in a good way and a bad way. The good way is, the positive thing is that everybody can, can see it right away. They can listen to it right away. Um, obviously, if you ask record companies, they would tell you that it's also affected in a negative way. Um, I think music is going through, a, through probably the, the, the most crucial transition that they've ever been through. And um, hopefully they will adapt to it and it won't affect Forget about the musicians. I mean, don't forget about the musicians. Obviously, I hope it doesn't affect the musicians and the singers and the performers. But um, also the, the people that work in record companies. You know, from, the, from, a, from, a record, from a record label point of view. Now, from the other point of view of being able to be, being, 
be seen by millions of people around the world, which is the touch of a few buttons. That's, that's, that's incredible. Um, Insomniac, for me, um, is my most diverse album. I feel like it's one of those albums that, I don't want to say it's my best album, because I still, I mean, I still feel deep inside that I can make better albums and write better songs. But having said that, um, having three years, well, two and a half years to make this album, I worked with so many different types of people, so many different types of musicians, um, and they brought so much diversity to, 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 my, to my album, and I learned new things. Um, but the most important thing I learned is that sometimes you, don't, you shouldn't give up easily on a song. You should try it many different ways. That's probably why it took me so long to make this album. Because if it didn't work one way a song, I would try it a different way, to the point that I would, at times I would even try it four different ways. And that was a long process. But in the end, I think it was uh, definitely worth it. I wanted, I've always wanted to create shows where it's rehearsed, but not over-rehearsed, overly rehearsed. And by that I mean, I grew up with, with performers. Some of them were very synchronized, which is good. Some of them were not as synchronized, and every night you, something was different. And I remember when I was a kid going to a Bruce Springsteen show. Um, Born in the USA tour, and that's exactly how it made me feel. It was one of those shows that everything was so perfect, yet um, it didn't feel synchronized, and it it felt so human. Uh, it, it felt like he's one of those performers uh, that, obviously, besides being a genius, um, but you know, had, a, had that uh, crowd uh, uh, interaction and, and, and was, it was driven so much by the crowd. And for me, it's always been about that, that you don't know exactly what's going to happen. If you pull up someone on stage, you never know who you're going to get. Some, sometimes you get someone that's crazy. Sometimes you get someone that's pretty, that doesn't even maybe care about being on stage. You never know who you're going to get. Same thing happens in the acoustic segments. Um, I always screw around with my band. Some, some nights I'll cut them off and I say, OK, let's do this other song. Or let's do, and, and it's not rehearsed. But that's what I think makes the show, to me, interesting, special. And the most important thing, it doesn't bore me. Um, it, that's what I, what I truly love about the show.